Niagara Falls for kids. Have you ever seen pictures or visited Niagara Falls? It is one of the most famous waterfalls in the world for a reason. Today, let's take a virtual trip to this cool natural phenomenon and learn all about it. Niagara Falls is found on the Niagara River, which is a natural border between the United States and Canada. The word Niagara comes from the indigenous Iroquois word Ungayara, which means the strait. The Niagara River connects two of the Great Lakes, Lake Erie and Lake Ontario, together. Because it is on the border between two countries, there are two cities called Niagara Falls, one in New York, USA, and the other in Ontario, Canada. Here is an interesting fact. Niagara Falls is not just one big waterfall. Nope, it is actually made up of three separate waterfalls. American Falls and Bridal Veil Falls in the United States and Horseshoe Falls in Canada. Horseshoe Falls is the biggest of the three and Bridal Veil Falls is the smallest. Niagara Falls is considered to be a cataract waterfall, which means that it is large and powerful. One of the things that sets Niagara Falls apart from other waterfalls is the huge amount of water that flows very quickly through it. We are talking 80,000 cubic feet of water per second kind of huge. That is equal to just over 598,000 gallons of water every second. Because of this, the falls are a great source of what is called hydroelectric power. It is pretty cool that water can be turned into energy, don't you think? Now that we have learned a little more about Niagara Falls, let's talk about its interesting history. Scientists estimate that Niagara Falls began to form somewhere around 10 to 12,000 years ago as glaciers began to melt and form waterways. And over time, the shape of the falls has changed due to erosion. Here is an interesting fact. The unique green color of Niagara Falls is due to dissolved salts and rocks in the water that are caused by erosion. It is estimated that around 60 tons of dissolved minerals are swept over the falls every minute. French explorer Samuel de Champon and his exploration group are thought to have been the first Europeans to see the falls as early as the year 1604. But Belgian missionary Father Louis Hennepin is the first to have written a detailed description of the falls in 1677. Over time, Niagara Falls became a tourist attraction, especially to daredevils who have either gone over the waterfall in a barrel or walked across it on a tightrope. In 1901, a 63-year-old named Annie Taylor became the first person to challenge the falls. She went over Niagara Falls in a barrel with her cat. Can you even imagine that? That does not seem like a very safe thing to do. Thankfully, Annie survived the stunt, but there were others who tried the same thing who were not so lucky. The first person to walk across the Niagara Gorge on a tightrope was Jean-Francois Gravelet in 1859. He did it eight more times that year, and others would try the same thing. Maria Spelterini was the first and only woman to cross the gorge in 1876. Today, no one is allowed to go over or cross the waterfalls. The last stunt done at Niagara Falls was on June 15, 2012, when a man named Nick Walenda took a 25-minute walk across the Niagara Gorge. We have learned some cool facts about Niagara Falls, and now it is time to review. Fill in the blank. Niagara Falls is a great source of blank electric power. Hydroelectric power. What is the unique color of the water at Niagara Falls? Green. 
True or false? Annie Taylor was the first person to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel. True. Fantastic job, friends. Niagara Falls might not be the tallest waterfall in the world, but it is one of the most powerful. Maybe someday you can join the many tourists that visit the falls every year and see them with your own eyes. Just remember to leave the barrel at home. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.